Hello everyone. Today I'm showing you a way of creating a surface which is randomly generated and being able to manipulate it with to have different random surfaces as well as having their contour lines and in addition to that as well having on each level their um, respective level of uh, uh, heights and everything. So we're going to like catch that and see uh, how it will be working. Um, if you want to follow along, it's a very good thing to do because this way you can like learn Rasp for yourself and you actually like know what you can do with it. And it's really helpful to like learn it in the beginning steps. So I really recommend you to just follow along and try to um, keep up if possible. I think you might be fine. Okay. So the basic thing, I'm trying to draw this out here for you. Um, we're basically creating um, a lot of random points, which are extruded in a random way. Also, there could be a specific way, but in this will be a random. And um, oh, well, that was brilliant. And um, we're going to have those points uh, on those different locations. And they will be um, connected between each other. So they will form a smooth surface um, around. So we have like those points connected to each other and they will they will uh, have a surface. And the next thing we're gonna do is basically we will uh, use a, a random point or doesn't really matter, but it goes down and basically it make, makes contours out of those areas as well. So we can maybe laser them out later in a file and it makes this process very easy because you can come up with random generations of lands in a very, very, very quick manner. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to create a grid uh, under sets, no, sorry, uh, vector grid. And in this case, we use the square grid. And um, we're going to use like uh, number slide 11 and maybe also want to change the size depending on our mood. And here we have this. So next thing we're going to do is we have middle points. So we're going to um, make them move up in a certain way, but we're going to use a um, series of the list length of uh, those point numbers. List length. So those points will be moving up um, in a certain way and we're going to use a range as well yeah we make it dependent on the range of the list length basically um, <laughs> yeah this one this here um, maybe the best thing is actually to wait let me check real quick how I made it in the other one so I can follow myself okay that was right correct yeah. mm -hmm. Um, so we have the range and then we're going to use uh, just a random number slider and we're going to have those different points as you see here. So I've flatten this as well. So we have like one set. And right now it looks very linear. So what we're going to do is we make the jitter, uh, we use the jitter command, which basically shuffles those points through. So we are able to um, make like a more natural um, look to it. It goes from one to zero. And we're going to use, uh, if we're going to use the full mode, it's going to be all over the place. And the more we are, le uh, the less we are, um, the less the value is, the less um, like natural is basically the less random. Okay, we're going to use full random now. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use um, the command patch and here you can use curves or points don't like mind the red thing it's sometimes this way we're going to use the red uh, the points one and we're going to um, uh, increase the flexibility I'm going to use number slider for this as well so in like the the higher the higher the flexibility or the higher number slider in the flexibility the uh, more it like goes to all of those points, like it goes further to it. And if it's like less, it's like more of an average of those points. So I'm going to like go with the rather high number. 
And um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use the command uh, contour. And it basically um, uh, contours the shape out that we want to have. And we're going to use, for sake of simplicity, a point, like a starting point of the contour that we put on the top more. And it goes like downwards where it's going to be like cut like this. So uh, we're going to use Z direction. Uh, and we're going to use uh, negative one for that. Or like plus one if you put the point on the bottom. And we're going to, um, we're going to like focus it down, down, downwards. And we're going to use uh, the contour distance as well, which might be depending on the model size, more or less. This might be quite a lot. Okay. Yeah, you use a lower, no lower number in this case. So yeah, the more contour lines they have, um, the more, uh, the more lines you have here in this case. Um, you have to keep in mind if you want to laser it out, uh, because you have a certain size of the, your thing that you want to cut out, then those, if you have it like in a section right now, uh, those lines need to be obviously in the size, in the scale that you're going to use. So keep this, um, you have to like, uh, calculate previously, like what will be the distance of this one of those things. If you're going to be a one millimeter or two millimeters, just so you know. Um, okay. So, and what I use as well, because to make it more, um, like, uh, how do you say it? Programming friendly, we're going to use um, the mesh tool as well. It makes the form a little more, uh, calculate more faster as well. So nice. So we have our mountains here. And um, the only problem I'm having right now is, for example, if you want to move uh, those things to the uh, direction, um, because you want to have them all like in one pieces. So we're going to um, move them there individually. So we're going to move them to the direction of X maybe. And uh, to have like a certain distance between uh, those two things, we need to um, use the uh, size and the extent multiplier and as well do like a little bit of an offset with a small addition to it to put those pink things like uh, next to each other, basically. So well, this is not what I want to do. Uh, I'm going to do a series and the amount needs to be the, needs to be the tree length of this one in order to get the right number, which is 95. Which will also be, no, it's not corresponding to anything, but um, it's this number. And um, just put it here, and this one will be the, the step amount of it should be there. So, let me see that everything looks okay so far. I need to graft this one as well. Okay, yeah. So here we see right now they're like very small bits and pieces, but if we're gonna move on here, we have very clear contour lines. The problem right now we're having is that, just like let me separate them a bit more. Uh, the problem we're having right now is like that those contour lines, they just end abruptly and they don't uh, basically further go further here and I have to like draw them by hand. That would be very annoying if I want to laser them out. So in a way to counter this, we go back to the perspective and we're basically gonna uh, make an extrusion of the edges downwards and um, mesh those B-reps together in order to have like a, like a circle, like a base of the thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a B-rep edges and we're going to use the naked edges uh, of it. Those are those things. And we're going to join them together. And we're going to extrude them downwards. 
and um, it doesn't really matter how much you extrude them, it just has to be quite a significant uh, lot more than how it is at the moment. It's been negative as well. And um, it will be extruded downwards. More. And um, we will cut off a certain piece of it as well. So we're going to project the naked edge surface on the C plane. And we're going to move this as well downwards a little bit. I think we're going to use a multiplier in this case here. So we just put like a little bit downwards. So, and we're going to use the command brep split. And we're going to use the um, boundary surface of this surface here. Mm-hmm. And we're going to cut this basically through. And now the important thing is, well, we need to uh, basically check which one of those two we're going to be using and to like sort them basically out. So you see you have wrong one here. So we put the, take the right, but there are two ones to take the, take the bottom, uh, top one. So now we have our um, like extruded thing and we're gonna be rep join them together with the thing on the top this one and we're gonna join those together and we might need to flatten them as well in order for it to be actually one okay now i'm just gonna put this in here then and now we have our finished uh, product basically let me disable a few features here so we can see a little more clearly <laughs> So, yeah, I think you want to decrease the size a little bit here. So, yeah, nice. So, here you see we have our mountain range here. And if you want to just change um, some of those parameters, maybe the uh, randomness factor of it, we can obviously easily do so. We can also increase the size of those things. And if you want to have a completely different outcome, you can also use a different seed as well, which basically uh, is the random generator that is used for it. And on all the occasions as well, if you take the top view, there will always be a different outline as well. And as you see, it is a very nice closed poly surface and it can be put directly on the laser. Um, there's another thing in order to not get confused too much by um, which like height of this it is, you can use the um, uh, display point. I don't know what is exactly. Um, well, I think it was text tag. Yeah, text tag. And um, the text will be the number of uh, the series that we basically have. So we just put, we use the same one, use the same count number. Now we have just like a one, two, 30, seven, seven, three um, number. And we're gonna use the look exact location, but we're gonna use, instead of uh, this one, we're gonna just use uh, the point that we generated here in the beginning for the shape. Oh, I didn't even use it one actually. Okay, we can use this point that we had in the beginning. And now we have our text location. So if we disable this now and we have to flatten this as well, for example, we see the numbers of each of those plates. So we have like a lot of them in the bottom, like one to 40, and then it translates a bit more and goes further, further up until we only have like very small um, of those things. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you, yeah, just try to play with it, try, I hope you kept up with it. And um, yeah, see you in the next one. Enjoy your evening.